Well, it's been a long time coming. In fact, I first announced this video series over two years ago. But here it is, finally. The Volvo FH12 Globetrotter Tamiya truck build. Let's get into it straight away and see exactly what it's got. So this video is basically going to be all about just taking a look at what's in the packet. Obviously taking a look in the, uh, well having a quick flick through this uh, instruction manual which is basically uh, the guide which tells you exactly how to build it. Um, you can see some very in-depth pictures here, in fact it is very well done. There's barely any writing at all because the pictures explain everything perfectly. Um, and what I can say is at the time of recording this I'm already a long way through the project. So when the first video goes out the project will be finished and there will be one video every week. So here we go, the very first parts bag. This is the rear differential. I'm not going to go through everything, but basically every bag is a different section of the project. They're all labelled either numerically or alphabetically. Um, I can't say exactly what everything is here. In fact, some parts of the project are mixed up uh, within the same bag, so you just have to take a bit every now and then. I think this is something to do with the gearbox, I'm not entirely sure, but everything will become clear in the video series coming very soon. I think it's going to be starting in the next week or two. Clearly these are windows, so that doesn't really take much working out. Um, and yeah, everything else is pretty self-explanatory actually. I've got the top of the cab, just here. Everything has to be painted, I have to do that myself. But that of course is all part of the fun. Now we now have uh, some kind of health and safety advice sheet here, which of course we're going to look at in great detail. But yes, you don't have to read it. So what I'm going to do is just progress through the box, taking a look at everything. Uh, this looks to be the interior. We've got a steering wheel, some seats, the dashboard, and it looks like also the uh, some, of, some of the light parts as well, the lights in the front of the cab. Right, that's that section done. Let's move into the back section. Now one of these sections is actually just one piece, the cab itself. Uh, so that's going to be very easy to, to look at. As you can see here, this is just one piece, but you build onto it, obviously. Um, and if you're going to paint different colours and stuff, you have to keep them separated anyway. You do paint before you assemble. Um, I'm going to use the approved Tamiya spray paint. These brushes weren't actually included. I bought these separately, but they are definitely required for the intricate detail. We then have, I think these are the fenders, yeah, the air intake various different parts on the outside of the cab and the front grille just there. We then have the side skirts, uh, wheel arches, all that kind of stuff just there and we also have some more fenders and I think it is probably the floor inside, I'm not too sure. Um, as I say it will all become clear. The fifth wheel, various parts for the rear differential, side skirts, front bumper and yeah some other stuff chassis parts I think. Uh, we then have the light lenses which have to be painted. You have to paint these yourself, different colours, so indicators have to be amber or yellow. We then have the frame or the chassis. Everything is built off these basically. And they've got the vinyl wrap on them just to protect them. Right, I'll put everything back into here. Then we can move on to the very uh, interesting looking box with tyres in. Now it might look like a box just full of tyres, but actually it's full of all the screws, nuts and bolts. And it's actually the most interesting thing here. Oh, and also we've got some stickers here too, some decals. The dashboard, different external stickers, um, basically everything you require. I just love the attention to detail though. For example, the speedometer or the tachometer, you can see it's all very detailed. So that's going to be, uh, it's going to really improve. How, how good it looks afterwards. Obviously you don't really see the interior too much, but if you were to look into there, at least there is some good detail. Right, moving on, the red box. Now this red box, like I say, is not just tires, although it does feature many tires. And you can see even the tires are well detailed. You can actually buy other tires as well, if you would like to, but I think I'll stick with these. You can also paint them if you wanted to as well. You can do anything to it. That is what's so good about these packs. You can you can modify what there is here. Possibly not the advisable thing to do, but you can do. So we have uh, six tyres here, and these have to be fitted to the rims, which are included in this box as well. We'll come onto those in a second. Uh, but basically, yes, we've got the screws, 
the small parts, everything which is small is in here. There are the rims. Uh, you get two packets of these, so obviously six in total. We've got four in here, and then the other two are probably at the bottom. We then have, uh, what are these? Uh, they're rear differential parts, I think. Part bag E. Well, basically everything is, like I say, um, labeled numerically or alphabetically. Uh, yes, that is rear differential stuff. Oh, actually it could be gearbox stuff, I'm not too sure. Leaf springs, we have leaf springs. This could be the front or rear. There isn't really a difference, I think these are the front ones. Yes they are. Part bag B is the front stuff. And I think it's C, which is rear. Not that it really matters. Part bag F I think is uh, gearbox stuff, I'm not entirely sure. We'll come on to that later in the build videos. The build videos are going to be approximately half an hour long. Obviously this will vary, it could be slightly longer or shorter. Liquid thread lock, very important for, well, for example, the gearbox. If you were putting the screws in, you definitely do not want them to come out. We also have the grease as well, and a wrench and allen key. Now these next parts have got to be for the gearbox. I can't think of anything else to be used on, so yeah, they must be. Uh, but everything, like I say, will become clear very soon. We then have part bag D which is gearbox. We've got the shifters, the shafts, and the housing, and all the springs. Basically a very important bag just here. So I must make sure I keep everything safe. Next we have uh, rear differential. Yep, that's rear differential. Uh, it's got the bevel gear and the rear leaf springs. And this is bag C with the part number, just there. If you lose anything, you can actually reorder an entire bag. Right, the first of the hardware bags, we've got BA. There is also BB and BC. Basically, they include nuts, bolts, and screws. We then have the chassis bag. This includes the holders for the shocks and various other parts. But yes, basically, parts for the shocks and the leaf springs. Right, here is another hardware bag, BB, with the very small Eclipse, which I have fun with later, which you'll see. And we've got screws and other stuff. And BC, just here. Many screws. They may all look the same, but they're not. So you must make sure you don't get mixed up. Or I better make sure I don't get mixed up. Unless you're going to do this as well. Here is the motor. That is the motor for the, the lorry. Obviously it runs everything, the steering, the gearbox shifter, and the drive. So, yeah, looks like a decent motor. I don't know much about them. But yeah, it looks good. So let's just hope it does a good job. It should do. That comes in the kit. Uh, all the other electrics, for example, the uh, handsets, servos, you have to buy extra. There are the other rims. So I think what we'll do now is put everything back into here. So everything is packaged back up again. You need to keep everything safe. Otherwise, well, if I lose something, it won't be a disaster, but it would be expensive because you still have to buy the parts again. But I think losing them here would be pretty tough. Anyway, there we go. The Volvo FH12 Globetrotter. With absolute realism. You have to build the gearbox from scratch, as it shows there. It looks complicated. I'm hoping it isn't going to be too bad, but I'm looking forward to it. It even gives you the gear ratios and stuff as well. But this is indeed a ready-to-assemble precision model kit, as it states there. There are the different gear ratios, gear 1, 2, and 3. And... That's what it looks like without the cab, basically, we've got to build this. Um, I'm hoping to get it done within a month. That's what I want to do. So the first video should be out within a week or two. That is the plan. But basically, keep this in mind, when the first video goes out, there'll be a video every single week, without fail, until it's done. So thank you for watching, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.